Are you sure that your code is telling the truth? In this video, you're going to learn three rules for self-documenting clean code. Let's get started. Now, the first example is a function called apply discount, which takes two different parameters, so price and discount as numbers, and then returns a number. The problem with this code is that first, we don't always need to specify all the types for a function, especially for example, if these two are numbers, the calculated result will also be a number. So we don't really need to type this right here because this is automatically calculated, as you can see, using something called type inference from TypeScript. Now the second problem is, let's say this changes in the future by some developer or some requirements. And now we're not really using discount here, but rather discounted percentage, for example. And if we do that, then we don't really need, for example, this 100 yet. Now, is the code really telling the reality or is there something wrong with this function? The thing that's wrong here is they probably forgot to update this particular comment. And that makes it really confusing because now we are not really sure what's happening here. So instead of all of this, we could have actually removed the code from here because the code itself is pretty clear on what it tries to do. We don't really need to do that. And similarly, return the discounted price for this statement doesn't really make sense. So we're actually going to remove these. And then instead of this, we can just say return in this case. And finally, the function apply discount, the name is really weird and vague because this doesn't really tell what does apply discount mean? Are we going to change a variable? Are we doing to perform an action here? Not really. We are essentially calculating the discounted price. So instead of apply discount, this should be something like calculate discounted price. And now this is much, much better, more readable, and is very much self-documented. Now we're going to move to the second example. Let's say we have a function called calculate shipping cost that takes weight as a number and then it calculates something and then returns back. The first thing that you would notice we have right here as well is this type, which we don't really need because this we inferred automatically. Now, when we look at this particular code, you will see that if the weight is less than equals to five, then we return the standard shipping cost. And when we look at this number, this is 9.99. This is the express shipping cost. Now, this is not really self-documented because as you can see, we have a lot of comment just to explain what this function does. And specifically, the comment is needed because we have these numbers here. We call them magic numbers. And the rule here is to never use the magic numbers, but rather have some constants for using those. So instead of all of this, we want to have these numbers out as constants. So here I'm going to start doing that. So first we are going to start with the standard shipping cost. Then we are going to call express shipping cost. And finally, we'll also have the threshold. So here we can say standard shipping waste or we can say shipping weight threshold. And now that we have those, we can go here and change our constants or our usage of those numbers. And now we don't really need these comments at all. We can just get rid of those. And there we go. This code is much more concise. We have lesser lines of code and we are not really using any magic numbers. Let's have a look at our third example. We have a function called create order, which takes a bunch of arguments to actually create an order. And this requires all of these to be able to create an order. In this case, the problem is when you're actually using this or calling this function, the signature looks like this. So we are providing the name, the numbers. And while looking at this particular code, the readability is really, really poor because you don't really know what these numbers are. And it's quite possible that you mess up these numbers because they are positional arguments, for example, something like this. Now, what is the better way to do this? The rule here is to not have too many parameters for a function. So do not overwhelm that with functions. So what you would want to do rather is to take this out and use an object instead. So here you can create a type, for example, order. And then what you could do here is to update this to use this object instead. And finally, when you're coming here, you can use the object notation instead of these positional arguments to provide it just like this. And now you cannot do any mistake with what you're providing. And it's quite clear when just reading this, that this is the shipping address, this is the billing address, this is the payment method. So we are absolutely sure what's going on right here. And that's pretty much it. Let's summarize what we have learned in this video. Do not use comments unless you really, really need to. That doesn't mean you never have to use comments, but use them wisely and have self-documenting code as much as possible. Second, do not use magic numbers, rather create constants for those and use those constants throughout your code to make things readable. And finally, instead of having too many arguments in a function or positional arguments, instead use a structure or what we call an object in TypeScript and JavaScript. So rather use that to make things more readable and 
to avoid any mistakes. Well, I hope this video really helps you write better code. And if you want more tips, just let me know in the comments. And if you like this kind of videos, let me know that as well. As always, happy coding. I'm going to see you in the next video.